This is an exciting and fun solution, and I'm sure you'll like it, especially in the last video. There is a wonderful story about how God responds to what people pray for in times of trouble. We start with Dr. Khaled Montasar, 12 Al Khobar Dahot. After that, he commented on the news, saying that a Muslim student slapping her teacher because of the hijab is a controversial issue. The values of the Republic in France are not the first nor the last time that a debate has been opened about the issue of religious symbols in schools, but this time the issue did not stop at the point of discussion with tongues. Rather, a Muslim student assaulted her teachers, slapped her and beat her before running away. It happened when the teacher asked the student to take off the veil inside the school because that is contrary to the instructions and Dr. Khaled Montessor wrote in a comment on this news, I wish I understood that you are immigrating to Europe which is dying in boats so that your feet can put there on its beach as long as you are travelers so that you remain preachers not citizens. My dear lady, why do you travel in your country and Shilla with you? The ideas of tribute, conquest, and jihad are demand, loyalty, and disavowal. The best mother, the infidelity of those who disagree in the faith, the limit of apostasy, and the murder know how to pray while you enjoy high quality, free education, health insurance services, unemployment aid, etc. The country embraced you and groaned you out of fear and fed you out of hunger. Stick to it stick to its laws and do not do anything. Cloth, a jihad issue. Without it, a lathe and a worm, the girl who hit her school in the face for demanding compliance with the law and take off the veil. They believe that the French will quickly fall into strife as a result of the lock of hair that will fall from their forehead. Her Majesty, we live in the illusion that our Lord Almighty, after creating the 400,000, thousand, thousand women, devotes himself to monitoring the poetry of her eminence, she and the rest. Muslims, the education minister's stance is admirable, warning that attacking a teacher is a blow to the Republic's values. A suggestion to the Mujahideen immigrants who immigrated to Somalia, Afghanistan and Pakistan. They will meet the application of Sharia law there and they will be very happy. Let's see the news. What exactly are the details? What did Dr. Khaled Montasa write about? Details say the 18-year-old student strongly refused to remove the hijab while inside the school. The teacher hit and slapped her then pushed her and she fled the school. On Monday, Monday 10.37.2024 AD, but the authorities later found her at her home and arrested her. The student is under investigation on charges of assaulting her teachers and given that she is an adult, it is a charge that can carry penalties of up to three years in prison and a fine of up to. 45,000 euros and Dr. Khaled Montesser also completed the news and they posted comments and wrote and the teacher who teaches social and natural sciences in a school did so. An annual protest in Turkey in northern France filed an official complaint for being beaten and insulted. Teachers at the school, in solidarity with their colleague, also went on strike and cancelled all classes. On Tuesday 10th, 8, 2024 AD, this is the latest incident related to the ban on the hijab in schools in France. It reopened the debate on secularism as a constitutional value. For the French Republic, which aims to promote neutrality in general among citizens, the Muslim women of France believe that secularism is contrary to Islamic teachings and the ban on wearing the hijab is an attack on the individual's personal freedoms. Education Minister Anne Ganati confirmed in a session of the House of Representatives. She will take very firm measures saying that whoever attacks a teacher 
it is as if he attacked the Republic. The mayor of Turkey said in a statement that the school is a place to convey the values of the Republic and we all have a duty to support teachers in the face of this unacceptable act in a strong condemnation of the attack on a teacher. At school, former Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin expressed his support for the teacher on the X platform. Of course, I'm not saying that the comments are still very rigid. On this post, Dr. Khaled Montasar 12 also posted this hot Egyptian man in America who works on food Arabs in Times Square in New York. He insists on playing the Holy Quran daily on audio prefaces, even though this is costly. $50 a day is also a fine. Professor Ahmed Asid said to me, the state that cares about monitoring women's hair and clothing does not deserve the name of a state, but rather is a gang of mental patients. Let's see the comments, Ahmed wrote. We will not find any useful political or educational articles on this page or philosophical, social, scientific, analytical, etc., but, but trivial posts. On it, the member Hamisha's issues, even if they are negative from his point of view, such as the hijab, the niqab, or the beard, and as the proverb says, we will wake up in it, we will talk. The speaker, Dr. Khaled, responded to him and said to him, it is beautiful, it is more beautiful than triviality in Ahmed, what's your speech? Answer him, your honor said to him, I am indebted to Sulfangism, the Brotherhood, ISIS, and all these organizations, Professor. So keep their presence so you don't fall with their fall in Sharif. He answered him and said to him, Who is this who is indebted? Or a what? Knowing that the earth is flat or treating with dates. It cures all diseases except cholera. Mustafa Suleiman wrote that the whole world continues to hate us because of these actions and the bad ones are widespread. This is a simple example of deduction in Germany that started in because of these actions and only he responded to Ahmed and said to him, do you not feel that what happened is a calamity and a disaster? Seriously, I can't find anything to say. Issam also responded to Ahmed and said to him, are you interfering with me, Abu Hamid? Do you like triviality? Why do you mean to enter the page? Dr. Khaled Montasers, as long as you say it's all trivial, I wrote that every person who immigrates will know in advance that there are laws. The world is not abandoned. Everyone knows France's stance on the hijab. If someone doesn't like the law, they should return to their country. Action isn't needed. Hisham wrote my story, you will learn there. Why would she go to Yemen or Pakistan? George wrote, Madame, their aim. It is to live under Islamic law. Why don't they migrate to Afghanistan? The law is strictly enforced. Ahmed Abu al Umda. Why did he have another opinion? He said, God willing, a girl killed a man. And the sheriff responded to him and said to him, Why is he the one who slaps the faculty members? Do you find a championship in it? Ahmed Abu al Omda responded to him and told him that her hijab was her honor and chastity and she was the first to accustom her. I used to the girl, she told her not to wear the hijab. Al Ahmad Abu al Omda and others say, don't say western countries. In free countries everyone wears what they want. Al Sharif responded, there is a school law prohibiting formal head coverings. I wrote to Ahmed Abu al Omda, don't they say that the teacher is revered? The teacher was like a messenger. How does he stay? A girl with a dead man, she respects herself and her teacher. Religion isn't morality. Dress embraces humanity and worship whatever you want. Show religious people their true selves. If I were from school, I would not miss the right. Ahmed Abu al Omda responded to them and said to them, It is freedom in the castle completely. And the first time a girl wears a hijab, their freedom ends in Islam. He responded to him and said to him, No one said that the castle is a good thing at all. And then when you are my guest, you respect my house or you either don't come to me. I have freedom, Pasha. You don't try to come to my house and change the place of the entrance or the place of the dining room chairs. You don't like my house. Why are you coming to me? 
in mind. Hey, Tiggy, Betty, respect Betty's system. Don't you come to me? I have it. Isn't I the one who comes to you? This girl continues to respect the country system, which allowed, showed compassion, and gave her everything. A country that treats Muslims as it treats its native children. It gives its goodness to every respectable person. The best thing for her is that she was living in her country with people who had the same customs as these, and Julia also wrote for him a well-known French law. It prohibits the wearing of religious symbols. Why does anyone live in a country? He doesn't agree with him? This is not her mother's country. Maha is an immigrant, which means she can choose another country for immigration that suits her, and then hitting the teaching staff is not considered heroism. A complaint could have been filed with the principal, but no one will exceed the limit of hitting unless he is older than his uncle. The position of Ihab Khatib makes me crazy. Why wear the hijab? Is it to prevent sedition? The lady is there. In France, she walks with complete freedom and what? There is no harassment and no one is looking at her at all because these are high-end societies and if you are not wearing the hijab, no one will look at you. Amal wrote to be in the embassy, I get a visa and I find that whoever takes the okay with his jalalib and veiled veils still deserves it. What gets them is affection. Books of minds are sick and absent. I do not know why they travel to countries of disbelief and education there. They do not visit Saudi Arabia, Iran, Afghanistan, and similar countries. Poor people wrote, believing that the infidel West will believe and dictate to them in their religious behavior, and they believe that they will influence the West with manifestations of religiosity. They do not know that religion is an essence and not a manifestation, and that a person can be influenced by a person's behavior when he sees his love and attention, and not when he sees his hijab, nor the reason for prayer drawn. On his front, on the other hand, Dr. Khaled Montessor posted, Is so what yet lay Elon Musk? The news is that the human fatwa is now the robot between prohibition and permissibility. The question is, what is the ruling on the manufacture of a robot between the robot brackets? Is this included in the band filming and proceeded? A. Also, is it permissible to make a robot that looks like a human and shake Dr. Osman Kamis bird? Dr. Khaled Montessor wrote, Musk creates and we deny it. Elon Musk announced the Tesla Optimus robot, which can help with household chores, carry things, serve dishes, interact with objects by touch and carry, as well as take care of children, dogs and plants as well. Dr. Khaled Montasar wrote, You want it to be an authoritarian religion and we want it to be a humane religion. Do not disbelieve us when we criticize the brokers of heaven, including clerics and prayers who have poisoned the expression of our lives. They accuse us of wanting to remove religion from the Egyptians. And this is a big illusion and a blatant lie. And this was explained by the famous psychologist whose writings I adore, Eric Froome, in his book on religion and psychoanalysis. He also published this comment by Dr. Hossam Mawafi when the messenger said that he forbade eating onions. And garlic on Friday is like a professor in medical school. About 99% of those who suffer bloating, eating in the street, eating onions and fasting, and not digesting food well. Peru responded to Dr. Khaled and told him that here in America, they encourage eating onions and tomatoes because they help solve some health problems. I have. Narmin wrote, Why don't you understand? Don't eat onions and tomatoes this Friday because of the smell in Friday prayers among worshippers. Mervat wrote that if you eat them on any other day, when they get bloating, Abu Abdullah wrote, Your man, you are a doctor. All doctors tell people that they eat garlic and onions because they have great benefits for health. Do you disagree with all doctors like this? Let's come to the beautiful story that I told you about. In the beginning, it actually happened. Call on me in time of trouble to save you. The story tells us that if there was an orphan girl 
who had no one in the world after God except her mother, her cousin married her, and he was an oppressor who was extremely unjust and cruel, as he and everyone else who was more important to her. They made her work as a maid day and night, and yet she was not spared harm, insults, and insults that often amounted to beatings. Whenever the world was narrow for her, this girl would take refuge in the warmest place, which was her mother's embrace, and her mother formed everything that happened to her, and then they cried together. She returned to her husband, and the nation was sitting weak and helpless, doing nothing. Except to share her daughter, it hurt her to cry with. The matter continued for ten years, and every day the situation worsened until the deadline was ruined, and it was time for the mother to leave her husband. So the girl wept, and her mother collapsed in the throes of death. She said to her while her mother was in the gaps of death, the girl said to her, My mother, who should I complain to after your departure? Mom doesn't leave me alone. The mother told her, My daughter, if I die and you are stranded, come here to your mother's house and my prostration. Pray to God and tell him everything that disturbs your class and shape your concern. And your sadness looked at him, and the mother died. And once a week, I put the world on the girl. So she took herself and went to her mother's house and acted on her mother's advice. She felt very comfortable, and it continued like this for a month. Every week she went to her mother's house. This was an ark of hours. Then she returned smiling, and her husband's family noticed this, so they put Satan between her and her husband. They told him that your wife is definitely cheating on you as she goes to Ammaha's house every week. She is able, then returns hours later, happy, so he decided to watch his wife, went ahead of schedule to his mother's house, and hid in a place where he saw her, and she did not see him. The wife went as usual, and a month had passed since her mother's death. Then she fell prostrate, burst into tears, and told her Lord with all the worries that hurt her heart. She prayed to her husband for good things. She reached out to God to fix her husband for her, because she loves despite everything, and she continued to cry and cry while he listened and cried with her, affected by what he saw and heard. Then she ended her prayer, and then she saw her husband crying, embracing her, apologizing to her, and returning her as if he was compensating her. That night God answered her prayer, and he did not return to his family's house. She's asleep. She saw a person in a dream telling her that she had been complaining to the people closest to you for ten years. We will not do anything to you, and you will only complain to God for a month. He changed God. God has changed you from one moment to another. Do not doubt anyone who has nothing in his hands but consolation. Rather, I speak to God. He responds quickly and without delay. In times of distress you wake up. My grandmother Fatumat always said, May the name of the Lord be glorified. God hears and responds to all who ask. If you like the video, I hope you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to receive everything new and share with us comments. Thank you to all the fans and followers. Thank you.